Hello and welcome, or welcome back to Onderheim Zoo. Today we are doing a full guest view tour of our zoo so far. So we are, I actually think we're a little bit over halfway done the zoo to be honest, but um, you know, I figured episode 10, it's a nice round number. Uh, maybe this would be a good time to kind of do a walkthrough tour of the zoo so far. So it's a little dark in here right now because this is opening hour. It is uh, just after 6 a.m. currently, and that's when our zoo opens. Um, but I really like this area lit up anyway, so I figured why don't we start here um, with things lit up. So this is the entryway. Uh, essentially, you walk in and we start off in this very cool kind of Moroccan style plaza. Oops, let's not jump over the... Uh, <laughs> the railings here and the very first two things that you can see here if you want is the goliath beetle this is one of our custom billboards um that i have put together just kind of some information about the beetle um and a little bit of advertisement and then you know our beetles should be in there they're hard to see the exhibit animals but <laughs> we're not going to spend too much time uh taking a look at that and then over here very similarly we have the giant tiger land snail and uh they're in there these guys are much easier to see they're much bigger very cute, very fun. Looks like there's a bunch of them. I probably need to empty out the babies. Um, moving along, this area is very crowded, uh, very typical kind of crowded entry area. Um, but, oh, lights just turned off. So when you come over to the right over here, we have some education, of course, and we have some little facts about the meerkats. So um, this is basically the kind of advertisement saying that the meerkats are this way. Of course, there's the little meerkats on the side there too, kind of to let you know. If you are thirsty, of course, you can grab yourself a uh, cosmic cow milkshake. Yeah, those are the milkshake ones <laughs> on your way to the animal talk, which it looks like actually might be happening very shortly here. Everybody's kind of lined up and ready for it. So this is our seating area for our meerkat talk. Um, it looks actually quite full. Maybe I should add a second uh, seating, <laughs> some second seating here as well. Um, I don't see our educator, but hopefully he'll be here soon. And yeah, that's what the meerkats look like from here. Oh, there's one right there, just chilling, looks like. Is he pooping? Yeah, he's pooping. Okay, of course he is. Um, but yeah, they have obviously a lot of places to hide and stuff. And meerkats get a little bit, um, a little bit stressed and sensitive, so they don't like to come too close to the guests, but I think it's still a pretty good view. You can see them, uh, pretty good playing back there. Very cool. They've just got a nice little habitat. They don't need too much space. Um, but here's the information about our, um, what would I call them, like, our first set of meerkats. So these are the parents, essentially. Um, these are our breeding meerkats. So, actually not all of them, um, but yeah, these are our first four meerkats and they've had all the babies um, so far. And they're all still here, um, I think. <laughs> I can't remember actually if we had lost one of them or not, but yeah, I'm pretty sure they're all still around. Um, ooh, it's getting dark. I wonder if... Um, is it a cloudy day today? Usually it's not cloudy here in the desert. But yeah, there's that building over here, of course. If you look on the other side, there is um, information booth for all of your information needs. And then a nice little guest shop here. Uh, right off the bat, you can either get a, get a gift while you're entering the zoo to carry around with you or um, get a gift on your way out to remember your trip. And uh, this is just inspired by some of those really cool like plate shops, um, often plate shops. I really like how that one turned out. And of course, as you walk through here, we have the nice little fountain garden area. Um, and then we enter into the white rhino habitat. That one clearly, I did not make a sign for that one. Um, we'll just ignore that for now. <laughs> but here we can see we've got some food going on in there uh, based on the signs. And these are our white rhinos. We've got uh, mom and dad up at the top there. And then we have a little announcement of the baby rhino, who's not a baby anymore, um, <laughs> but was born uh, in captivity as well. And he's in the habitat too. So, or she, I think it's a she, is in the habitat as well. So yeah, rhinos this way. Um, if we enter into this little area here, we have a nice big courtyard um, in this area. And we've got a chief beef. You need to take a look at the menu. This is also a custom sign that I had actually made for our last zoo. I just um, copied it into here. And then we have some more information, um, you know, booth stuff over here if you want some guides for the rhinos or whatever. Um, a bathroom, some gulpy energy, some more education boards, of course. And then this is our education talk area for the rhinos. And it looks like he's actually waiting to start the talk. I'm not sure why nobody's sitting here yet. Um, but this is where you can sit and hear about, oh, I don't know why they're crossing the barriers either. Why are you standing in my, uh, in the sign? I don't know. I don't know. 
But yeah, anyway, this is kind of where we can see the rhinos from. Uh, through the glass, nice clear view. You can see them charging over there, very fun. Um, yeah, three of them. Mom, dad, and then the baby. I don't know which is which at this point, but <laughs> they are all here as well. Um, but yeah, that's what this little courtyard looks like. Or building, I guess. It's not really a courtyard, but this building looks like as well. And then let's just get out of here. And we can continue on down this path to the oasis. Along the way, we can see here just little signs. We know the entrance is that way, safari and um, yeah, and penguin. There's a bunch of stuff this way, so. Let's take a look here. This is our first view of our penguins, actually. So you can see them all wandering around. Very fun. There's a lot of penguins in this habitat. Um, I love the little, look at all the babies. <laughs> they just kind of like walk back and forth because they, um, they don't swim, but very cute. Maybe even go glance a little, uh, get a little glance of the rhinos over there too if you're lucky enough. Uh, but this is just a little bridge. And then, of course, I need to update the zoo map, so I'll do that later. Um, so we're not going to look at those, but yeah, a nice little fountain there. That's meant to be a zoo map, but it's currently not. <laughs> totally forgot to do those. Um, but yeah, then here is the oasis so one of my favorite builds that i've ever done in this game like period i've already done a full walkthrough tour of this so if you haven't seen it uh, make sure you go and watch those videos as well but this is kind of what the first courtyard looks like we've got some information again um food and drink uh buildings up here somebody's clearly knocked over a trash can i don't know what our security guards are doing uh, why they are not around but <laughs> we do have full security now so they shouldn't be doing stuff like that um, as we kind of walk in, we can see we've got bathrooms up that direction um, and then some information about all the animals that you can see from this area. So there's another view for the African penguin over here. Um, we can kind of run over here to take a look. This is the talk for the African penguin. Um, you know, you can sit here, get the talk. It's obviously not happening now, but that's fine. Um, and then from over here, we can watch the penguins. Uh, let's say they're not really over on this side, but I think from over here, this is generally where everybody goes to watch them from. And this is our first set of breeding penguins as well. They've had a lot of babies since then and they're not all listed, um, but these are all of our first um, our original penguins from the zoo. So let's turn over here. Yeah, here they all are. Look at that. <laughs> you get a really awesome view of the penguins and oh, look at this guy. He's walking over his bridge. <laughs> Little baby. I love that. Oh, I don't think the adults uh, walk over the bridge too much, but the babies do because they don't swim. So very fun. And of course, going this way, um, there's a lot of little corridors and stuff. I won't go through all of them this time. We've already kind of seen most of them, but there's just, uh, you know, food and drink up in that area there. Uh, this fun little, I know I've shown this off many times already, but this fun little, uh, <laughs> little house corner here. But I will go up this way just because we have our other animals on the other side over here. So as we run through. Here we walk into the peafowl habitat. So we have two signs here, meet the peafowl. We also have our meet the fennec foxes here too, because they are just over that edge there. Um, so yeah, these are our original peafowl. Let's see if we can see any as we walk along the beach over here. Um, where are they? You may have spotted one before I do. Oh, there's one. <laughs> there's one of our peafowl. They love the guests, um, love being fed, love being watched. They are very happy. Happy peafowl uh, when it comes to having people in here. Let's see if we need some more trash cans. These people are clearly trash. <laughs> um, but yeah, also some food and drink, of course, here. If you need any, beautiful, beautiful. Um, what else? Yeah, there's a talk going on here. She's going to give some information about the peafowl. Um, and they obviously like the attention because they are hanging out right here. All these people really like burgers too. They are eating all the burgers. <laughs> so as we come around this way, oh, there's a little guy there. Make sure not to step on him on the way. Over here is the talk and viewing point for the Fennec Foxes. So these guys are very shy, so it's a little harder to see them. Um, but it looks like we can kind of just grab a little glimpse of them eating over there. Um, you can also often see them swimming uh, back and forth across the water as well. For some reason, they don't really like the bridge, but they like to swim. So, um, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to walk back up where we came from and then back into the oasis there. Okay, yeah, so back here at the um, intersection where we went up, 
um, rather than going up, we can also go across this way, across the bridge. So, um, again, we can go up that way and get some more bathrooms and food and drink and stuff, but that's all. Um, just kind of, you know, what you would expect. A little corridor up there. A little crowded, but, you know, it's still cute. Um, this bridge here just has a bunch of um, information, education, etc. Um, not really a place where you can... Oh, wow, I don't know what happened there. Um, so these people are clearly peeking through. <laughs> not meant to be a place where you can stop and, like, watch the animals or anything. Um, just kind of a nice little corridor here. And then you get to Safari Africa, the ride. So this is the ride entrance building, obviously also pretty crowded, uh, but there's lots of space in here. It's basically just for, you know, people to kind of hang out. There's some food and drink over there. Um, I never did make a gulpy uh, menu. I meant to make a gulpy menu to replace that Street Fox menu, <laughs> but oh well. Um, so yeah, ooh, look at that. We might have to increase ticket prices here or ride speed or something. It looks like the lines are very packed, but this is everybody waiting to get on the safari ride. Um, and you might see it come through here. I don't know why there's no cart here now, but we've already done the safari ride as well. So you have to take back on that video if you didn't see it. Um, but this area is fairly new. Um, and this is our education for all of the safari animals. So there's a lot going on here. There's an education point for every animal in this multi-habitat exhibit. Um, and also, of course, a place to view the safari animals if you don't want to take the ride. So we can kind of see a whole bunch of them down here. It's probably not even one of each. I don't see any ostriches in there. Um, I don't know where our ostriches are. Probably somewhere. Oh, there's one <laughs> right there, right in front of us. Um, but look at this big guy just like hanging out on the, on the uh, cliffs over there or the hills over there. Uh, very cool. So uh, you can basically go like talk by talk down here if you wanted to, um, or, you know, just take a look at all the animals. Um, and then over here, we can get a really good view of the fennec foxes. So these are all one-way glass, so we can kind of even look through and see if they're hanging out over here. Um, and yeah, just another visual point for the foxes there. Um, and then for you know, the signs over here. We've got, of course, entrance over there, safari, and then this way we've got spotted hyena and African wild dog. So we'll have to make our way that way. Uh, but to get there, you have to go through this kind of like little old style village. Um, this is mostly just seating and food and drink, um, basically a little pit stop um, for anything that you might need along the way. And then once you get to the end of the path here, we have our little sign saying, keep going this way for all of our dogs essentially I, I think hyenas are hyenas are kind of like in the dog family more so than cats i think um so yeah african wild dog hyena and dingo are all this way uh everybody here is watching the african wild dogs it actually looks like they had some more babies which is super fun and they might be fighting or are they playing i can't tell i'm gonna have to manage um the animals in there a little bit more too because <laughs> we started with two it looks like there's way more than two there now um but yeah, this over here on the side here, we see the end, like the kind of outskirts of Tatooine. Um, again, more maps that need to be updated, but yeah, that's kind of what that all looks like. Over here is the African Wild Dog talk. Our next talk is at 3 p.m., which of course is just a custom sign. It's not actually at 3 p.m., but <laughs> you know, I thought it would be, it just makes a little bit more realism to see uh, what that looks like. Ooh, it looks like we're going to get to see some of this in the dark. Um, which is fine because we did put, go through the effort of lighting everything up. Um, so along here we see there are some like food and drink kind of as you go. Um, but for the most part, this is just kind of a plain area. There's a little area up here you can also go to get um, drink, I think. I can't remember what store is up there. I don't really care to check right now. <laughs> but as we go along this way, we see this is where you watch the hyenas forever. See the top for the hyenas. So um, this whole habitat here is the hyena habitat. They might have gone to bed now. Um, but you can see the safari ride going through here as well. Yeah, I don't see any hyenas right now, but they are there. <laughs> um, I do promise they are there. Let's see. Do we see them from here? Uh, no, actually, I don't see any hyenas. They must be around the over the edge or in their little habitat over there. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. But yeah, this is the that abandoned um, building habitat that we did or abandoned building like shelter that we did. So this area is definitely not as crowded yet, but um, I'm hoping once we get the rest of the zoo um, done and kind of made into a circle, it will end up being a bit more crowded like the other areas, so we'll have to see. But this is kind of the entrance to Tatooine. 
Um, we've got our eastern brown, no, our rattlesnake here. This is the rattlesnake. Um, haven't made any custom signs for the rattlesnake yet, but uh, we do have talk points for that one. And the brown snake looks like somebody is uh, watching the talk for the eastern brown snake, which is awesome. And just some food and drink in here as well to gather on your way. And of course, as we walk through Tatooine, this is going to be cool at sunset um, with all the lights turning on. Um, but that's what this looks like. We've got our security guard <laughs> patrolling the uh, patrolling the village here. But yeah, for the most part, you know, there's some food and drink around, some bathrooms, kind of your traditional what you would expect <laughs> walking through here. Uh, there's a staff room there. And then as you come around the corner here, some education and another little courtyard area to kind of finish off the city or town village, whatever this is. <laughs> a little bit more food and drink. Um, the streetlights are all new as well, but yeah, we've got some food and drink there. And then over here is where you would come if you wanted to see the next talk. So um, essentially you can come over here, take a seat on the seating up here and hear about the dingoes. So where are our dingoes? Oh, there they are. A ah, little bit of weird reflection off of the uh, sunset there, but um, look at that. Looks like they had a baby. I haven't even really checked him out yet. Very fun. I don't know where the other dingo is, but um, yeah, looks like they had a... Is he, is he his head like fully in that? What is happening here? <laughs> or is he just sleeping in the water bowl? Oh, jeez. Oh, well. <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. Um, there's another viewing point for the dingo over here as well. We can go and take a quick look. Yeah, just through here. We'll ignore the paths, but yeah, you can also see them through the glass on this side too. Um, so lots of good viewing for them here. And then this is where we have finished off for now. Um, so next episode, obviously, we are going to be continuing building on that way, which I'm super excited about. The next portion of this zoo is going to be um, Egypt. We're going to do an Egypt um, themed area that way. Oh, I love this. It looks so pretty, doesn't it? This actually looks really cool with like the um, in the Star Wars themed habitat at night with like the stars. I've never really taken out like a close look before, but very cool little uh, screenshot there if it was, you know, not too detrimental to make nighttime screenshots. <laughs> but yeah, that is Onderheim Zoo so far. Obviously, I mean, I didn't really go over like the staff buildings and the staff areas and that sort of thing. If that's something that you would like to see me go over in more detail, um, rather than having to go back and look at all of the um, videos, let me know because obviously I'll do a full tour again uh, when we finish the zoo. But um, if you want to see like the staff areas and stuff in that um, in that tour, just let me know and I can do that. And yeah, besides that, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it was kind of um, a bit of a like transitional video, um, you know, just kind of trying to give myself a little bit of time here and there to, you know, catch up pre-film for December because uh, the Christmas months are very hectic typically um, and make sure that we can kind of keep this zoo ongoing. And I also just wanted to make sure that anybody who was newer to these videos doesn't have to go back and like watch every single one to get an overview of what's been going on. So I hope that gave you a really good overview of what it looks like so far and makes you excited to see what's coming next. Uh, let me know your feedback in the comment section below and I will talk to you in the next episode.